Hey guys, I'm Zindo Russia. So today we're going to show you an awesome plugin called Emits, and this plugin was previously known as Zen Coding, so you probably heard about it. It's a very fast way to write HTML and CSS code. So there are a lot of cool things here, and if you don't know Zen Coding yet, don't worry. I'm going to show you the things that Zen Coding already does and the new things that Emit does. So let's open my code editor. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Sublime Text. And I have already installed the plugin, so I have used this package control here for that. But if you don't use Sublime Text, don't worry, here's a full list of supported editors that you can choose. Okay? Right. So the first thing to do is set the syntax to HTML. Okay? And if I want to create a new document, I just type these and hit tab. Whoa, it's here. So this is an alias for this HTML5 snippet here. And let's say you don't use HTML5 already and okay here is your transitional doc type and here is your strict doc type so it's very fast also with emit you can change your configuration file so let's say I want to change the default value for lang so I just have to go to my emit folder and find this snippet.json file and here are all the variables. Let's change this. And you can find all the snippets here. One important thing to say is that with Zen coding, you probably noticed that you couldn't use those Zen coding snippets on those languages here. But now you can with Emit. Let's say I want to use some less. Okay, you can extend the, the CSS configuration for that and it just works. So this is great. So let's restart my editor. Okay, here it is. So if I hit these again, okay, it changed it. Great. Uh, another cool thing that you can do is create a select tag for example so you always have at least one option set of select tag right so why not just put it on a snippet or maybe you always copy and paste that fave icon link you don't have to do it anymore it's it's great also you can do some magic like these and create five elements inside of these an art list and maybe links inside of it and I can define these variable that are going to interrate and then if I hit tab whoa I have all of these it's very fast you can write a whole website just using one line of emit code awesome with Zen code in any class or ID that you define that doesn't have a tag before of it, it going to assume that this is a div tag because the most common element on HTML is a div, right? But Emit is more intelligent than that. What's the most common common element inside of a no unordered list? It's not a div, right? So, so it's more intelligent. Another cool thing that you can do is, okay, let's say I want 10 Latin Ibsen words. Okay, here it is. Or maybe 5. Or maybe 50. So it's very fast, and you don't have just a single piece of Lauren Ibsen, and that doesn't fit most of the times. Great. Let's do some CSS magic now. So, first of all, let's set the syntax here, create some element, and let's say I want to define a background but you don't have to write all that long line you just need to type pg plus hit tab and you get all the properties and by hitting tab again you can skip those properties and change the value of it it's great also you don't have to copy and paste that font face block again just type these hit tab and you can define your yay font by hitting tab again you can change the location of your file and great it's very fast and no more copy and paste right 
Also, there are cool things for CSS3 and this snippet for uh, border radios. If I hit tab, I don't have to write all that CSS3 prefixes. It's just here and it works. And I can define a list of properties just like I did in HTML. So um, maybe I want an absolute position and top 20, left 10, margin 10, 10, 15, 10, some padding, some width, if, and some height. And if I hit tab, it's here, or it's great, and I can define everything with just one line of code. So this is it, and I hope you like it. There's a lot more tags and things that you can do with Emit. Yeah, here's a, a, a list of a bunch of uh, things that you can do. So this is it. Thanks, everybody.